is that so funny? Slash Markle. Anyway, okay, we're back with Peglin. Refreshes clear nearby pegs. Attacks deal more damage to slimes. Attacks apply blind. Okay, re AOE refresh. That's what I'm looking for. That's what it's all about. Can you believe Malfa has more wins in this game than me? Yeah, we'll run the casino. Why not? Will NL win this run? Yes, you can. Well, that's fair. I mean, because he plays slower and he lets Chad make all his decisions, I can also understand why he would uh, win more games of this than me. Okay, number one thing, we would prefer not to hit any bombs. Or not to blow up any bombs. Hitting them is actually good, as long as we hit them once. The phrase, it's such a... It's just the game is such a weak mindset. I've been thinking that. I'm glad someone finally chose to put it into words. It's been on my mind for quite some time. I was thinking about it yesterday when I was carrying mid lane and I was a little hungry. I think you guys know the rest of the story. I don't, I don't wanna bore you. Okay, this clears AOEs, or it AOE clears. Oh, but it also refreshed, so I surrounded myself with new pegs that do nothing for me. Okay, maybe mouth's just better. Did these always get refreshed every time, or is this a new peglin mechanic? I feel like prior to the this last uh, match here, they didn't they didn't refresh the board every single time. That's a new new patch, new patch. It's just this map. Oh, okay. Well, get on. I don't really like the Bramble. Mem Orb or the Dag Orb. Honestly, I'm, I think I'm a simple Dag Orb guy. I think the, the number one way me, but also every, you and everyone I know, to quote the great philosopher Miranda July, back and forth forever. I think the, the great mistake people make, myself included, in roguelites, first few times you play them, um, Focusing too much on synergies, not enough on just like, you know, raw damage potential. Look at this. Look at this. Look at this. It's perfect. Get torched. 210 damage. Who the hell bad chested Miranda July? It's a true story, I swear to you. I was a snob, even like as a teenager. So we went to the video store, like my parents and I went to the video store. Must have been like 11th grade. My dad picked a movie, probably something with like, um, you know, Mark Wahlberg on the cover holding a pistol. Uh, I, uh, my mom picked a movie. I don't know what it would have been, probably like a, a comedy. And then I picked me and you and everyone we know because I heard it was, uh, it was a good movie. It's obviously a little arty, of course. That was 2005 or something like that. My mom brings it up every time she sees me. She goes, hey, what was that movie? Remember we watched that movie you wanted to rent from Jumbo Video? Where the kid types, let's poop back and forth forever. And I, like, I'm ready every time. I'm like, yeah, that's me and you and everyone we know. I don't have the heart to tell her. It's a well-respected, like, um, you know, indie comedy. She's like, I, was, I wasn't sure what to think when we saw that. I was like, it's just a movie, you know? We can't, we can't, oh, Jesus Christ. Can't be held responsible for what the content of every movie I want to see, you know? Watch this, we're going right onto the crit. No, okay, we're gonna land on the bomb probably. Okay, we're, we're falling. This has not been a great round of Peggle. She's gonna hold you responsible for the rest of your life? Yo, but it's a good movie, though. Like, go go check its Rotten Tomatoes score. I bet it's in, like, the 80s. That's pretty good. You just gotta keep an open mind. Now we're talking. It's 82. What did I tell you? Okay, obviously the Dag Orbs are going up here.
Okay, go, if you don't like Rotten Tomatoes, go see what it's at on IMDb. I bet it's like low sevens, which is still pretty good. I don't know. But then, like, here's the thing. Movie critics will, like, interface with a movie on its own terms. I'm not saying they're at 7.2. There you go. See, what did I tell you? I'm not saying that the critics are always right, but, like, a movie that's out there, critics will try to meet it, at, like, where it comes to pass. The number one thing that, like, casual movie viewers do is they're like, it's weird. I didn't really get it. Like, when they did this thing that was, like, arty, I thought it was, like, unrealistic. Like, what's up with that? I give it a 0 out of 10. Remember that movie you took me to where it was, like, in the medieval era, but they somehow have knowledge of the rock band Queen? That movie was so bad. Like, how are, was, there, was Queen supposed to have time traveled or something? I just never really got it. Not that A Knight's Tale is necessarily an art house film. It is Malv's dad's favorite movie. What are we doing here? We're not hitting bombs. That's what we're doing here. Look at that, it's perfect. It's, it's perfect. Still perfect. I still, I've told this story so many times, but it, I still think about it, like, it, it was probably October of my, uh, of my freshman year of college, my favorite movie of all time at the time, well, probably Eternal Sunshine was still my favorite movie, but, but one of my favorite movies of all time was, Etern uh, was uh, Evil Dead 2. I found a group of friends and a, a group of peers that I thought we had, um, you know, like similar tastes. I said, hey, you guys want to see like one of my favorite movies of all time? Busted out my DVD of Evil Dead 2. And then if you, uh, well, not a good crit. If you've never seen the Evil Dead movies, they're like a little cheesy and a, they're like B-movie schlock, but it's like on purpose. They do silly things in the movie on purpose because it's fun. Um, the people, I'll admit there's other 17 and 18 year olds, you know, it's not the most media literate group of people on the planet, no offense chat, but like, I was watching it with this group and they were like mystery science theater 3000ing, the movie that already mystery science theater 3000s itself, and I was just dying. And the movie's only like 80 minutes long, it was like the longest 80 minutes of my life. Oh, so then, oh, the tree wraps its uh, limbs around the girl and is like, hey girl, come here for a kiss. And everyone was like, ah, it's so true. That would like never happen in real life. And I'm like, you don't understand. Uh, it's, it's Sam Raimi's, uh, it's Cinema Verite. Curtis, you go back to Spider-Man 1 if you want this Sam Raimi that you, yeah, anyway, like, it, but instead I was just like, okay guys. <laughs> Yeah, you know, it was pretty funny. That joke you just made was way funnier than like the funniest horror comedy ever made. Yeah, you're like way funnier than Sam Raimi and Bruce Campbell. This is why like nobody even likes the Evil Dead movies and everybody thinks you're really cool. Shit makes me sick. Wonder what they're up to now. Probably all hanging out together talking about that time the weird kid in university made him watch that shitty movie and then he started he got really choked up when they started making fun of it shit makes me sick okay i'm going straight for the the no hold on this is too much man this is too much i don't really want a swole torb though i don't really want to heal i guess i guess i'll heal we'll fight an elite i'm okay Then, like, three years later, same group of people, I played the uh, played the good, bad, and the ugly for him. She just starts with a 45-minute shot of just, like, a man's boot slowly walking out of the frame. Uh, this is a little slow. I never learned my damn lesson, man. But then, I actually, I there's a little wrinkle to the story I've forgotten. Which is that, that the, the King Joker, who was making the most fun of, uh of Evil Dead 2, she got her comeuppance because we were all watching The Departed and she tried to pull that shit with The Departed and everybody, like, iced her. They gave her no laughter at all, which is the polite way of saying, like, shut the fuck up. Now, I wish I, honestly, I could have had that 
result with Evil Dead 2, which I, I mean, I like it more than The Departed. They're both good movies. We don't have to fight necessarily, but like, at least finally, people were like, it's not that appreciated. Okay, we're going, we're going around. Ooh, hit the crit, you piece! You gotta, you gotta try. You gotta try. We got the crit out of that. Oh, you're dead. You're not dead. You're close to dead. They said minus two for real. Nobody knew anything back in 2006. I, I know I've said this before, you, but like every year that goes on, it moves the Overton window of cringe. I would like bouncy ball. Rub orb. Yeah, yeah. Give me the bouncy ball. Deal extra damage the longer it's in flight. Or, oh, okay, hold on. But it also grants crit. Give me one of those. By that, I mean, in 2006, I would think things like, oh, man. 1998 was so cringe. Now, we didn't really say cringe that much back then. But we'd be like, man, in 1998, wow, look at this photo from 1998. Fashion was so bad. I can't believe, like, eight years ago, people were listening to, like, Backstreet Boys, and now we're listening to Gwen Stefani. It's totally different. Enemies don't get their extra turn for your first reload. But now, like, in 2015, I thought that the early 2000s were, like, the most cringeworthy thing of all time. Now, anytime I see, like, a video or a movie shot in 2005 to 2007, I want to die. Puka shell necklaces, uh, striped, horizontally striped polo shirts, even with the collars not popped. American Eagle, like, khaki cargo shorts. She was horrible. People who lived at the Arctic Circle were getting fake tans. How do we buy that shit? The girls have the hair where it's like center parted but then it has the the slick back sonic the hedgehog in the middle and it's pulled so freaking tight you can see the like the the shape of their their skull it was crazy back then man what the hell were we thinking i think it, it i think you're right like put me down here by the way it's always like like 15 years ago is always peak cringe like, 10 years ago is not cringe for me yet. I'm like, 2012? Not cringe. That just seems... That's me, man. That's... Uh, grab the fireballs. Dash through the flames. You know what? Give me the fireballs. But in five years, 2012 is going to be like, oh my god. Remember when, like, every dude grew, like, a mustache for a little bit? Remember the man bun? Bombs detonate in one hit. So what I think that tells you, you might be, you might have a man bun and hear that and be like, oh, is the man bun a bad hairstyle? No, the thing is, like, it's all bad. It's just a question of, like, you know, is it, is it in fashion? Is it contemporary? Like, the baldness, thankfully, is timeless. I don't think that, like, baldness is like locking in your points on the weakest link when you answer two questions right. Nobody's going to come up to you and be like, nice haircut. But at the same time, people aren't going to point at you and be like, what the hell happened? You know, like, who cut your hair? Uh, the baby Grinch from The Grinch Stole Christmas? What a hack job. Like, there's no good fashion or bad fashion. It's just a matter of, uh... It's a matter of timing, like anything else, you know? Like, people, you'll see photos... I mean, when I was growing up, you would see photos of people in, like, the 70s, and you would be like, that shit is, uh... Idiotic. What are they wearing? They look like fools. Now, hold on, we're amazing. Then, like 10 years after that, I would, uh, you know, look back on the 90s and be like, what the hell were people thinking in the 90s? The fashion is so bad. Meanwhile, I was wearing like American Eagle, you know, striped polos and khaki shorts, right? Like that I just made fun of. But then we were watching this, the, all those home movies with like my, uh, with my grandpa zooming in on my dad's butt, and I'm like, honestly, my dad's kind of got some drip in this video. The hockey jersey tucked into the short shorts. Like, that's something I could see people, you put a neon, like, windbreaker on top of that, I could see people wearing that in Vancouver in the summertime this year. And I would be like, that, that looks cool. Lighter than other orbs, detonates bombs in, in one hit. Okay. 
I'm still glad I took this Copium. Missed all the special orbs. That's unfortunate. You should start that trend. I don't need, I don't need, I'm not a trend starter. I'm trying to like figure out, you know how like old guys just like, there's a viral tweet I'm bastardizing here. But it's like, men dress like they just stopped caring at a certain age. That's that's what I'm trying to do like for myself. I'm, I'm content with this, by the way. I'm, I'm definitely not taking a rock. Previously thrown bombs can be refreshed. Every shot is a crit when below 30 health. Okay, we'll take the recombobulator. I'm trying to get like, you know how Queen Elizabeth said she's moving into her forever home? I'm still trying to find my forever outfit. And I'm pretty sure it's like a black t-shirt or a black long sleeve shirt. Black pants. And then like I'm still looking for my forever shoes. I'm thinking maybe we'll get some Skechers. Steve Jobs has logged on. Yeah, I was thinking I would start with the Elizabeth Holmes drip. Start wearing like a black turtleneck, uh, bright red lipstick. Come on, man. Real pain for my sham friends. Champagne for my real friends. Sorry, in Elizabeth Holmes voice. I wish I could do the Elizabeth Holmes voice, man. Real pain for my sham friends. Champagne for my real friends. You know? Sorry, you gotta, you gotta do like a tiny mouth. I'm still, <laughs> I'm still perfecting my... My loser. I, I didn't see any plus twos or minus twos. We're not ready for this one yet. Okay. He's kind of back. He's kind of back. Okay. He's kind of back. I'll take that. I'm kind of back. Look at this. We're bouncing. We're hitting every bomb. What a what a fortuitous peg that was. That was incredible. Theranos, Elizabeth Holmes. Yeah, man. Not, what do you think I was talking about? Enola Holmes? That show nobody watched starring Millie Bobby Brown? Honestly, I'm healing, man. I don't want to add more pegs. It was an okay movie. Life's too short for okay movies. That's why I watched three episodes of Moon Knight last night. Like, I'll be honest. I was gonna tweet that, um... There's going to be no uh, Super Auto Pets video today. But then I just didn't tweet. So there is no uh, video for Super Auto Pets today. I'm just going to be honest with you. I just didn't, like, I would rather have watched uh, Moon Knight on the couch with my wife than, like, it was a pretty long weekend. Then, like, at 9 p.m., be like, you know, oh, I got to record a 30-minute Super Auto Pets video. Then I got to, like, do the thumbnail. I'm 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 prioritizing myself in this day and age, man. Instead, I tweeted veggie sticks. Yeah, but that tweet only took a second. I was a little mad that I typoed. I didn't even see that the, the tweet said veggie sticks. I thought about sending that one back down to the lab. Oh, I said sorry. I tweeted veggie straws. Veggie straws. True. That's pretty true. Check this out. Ooh, that was beautiful. I was not drunk. I was just eating veggie straws. And I thought, you know what? I want to bring Twitter back to like the old days. Where you could move by simply folding the map. I want to I wanna start channeling like that 2009 Shaq Twitter energy. Where he's like, I love being on the roller coaster. Every time I'm on the roller coaster, I'm like, ah! Okay, send me up, send me around, hit some refreshes. Not gonna hit, not gonna hit some refreshes. That's okay, it's good damage, it's good damage. That's me yelling. Sorry, I forgot about the part where he says, that's me yelling. Oh man. Refresh me. Give me better fire orbs. They seem pretty good so far. I'm a damn fool. Why didn't I just take the easy shot? Why would you hit the bomb? There's no point. Okay, we... Oh, no! 
I thought we were gonna get the thing where we learned the lesson and didn't have to pay the price, but then we had to pay the price. I miss that, Twitter. And honestly, I think... I Maybe this is wishful thinking, but I actually do feel like we're getting back to it. I feel as like... Um, as the people who took Twitter too seriously have uh, either... Uh, you know, aged out of it, or like they're gonna get off the platform. No judgment, by the way, because like Elon's getting involved. Like as as there is like some burn rate for that. I feel like I'm having a much better time with just uh, tweeting like the food that I'm eating again, and not even I don't even take pictures of it. I'll just be like I'm eating a good steak right now, and then you know. Sometimes people will be like, photos? And I'm like, nah. If you're gonna withhold your like because I'm not giving you a photo, that's that's your right. I'm not here to, I'm here to brighten your day because you are thinking of me eating this steak. That's it. No, I don't think I will. I'm not very good at this game right now, but we're still winning. We paid for that steak? You're not even subbed, man! You didn't do anything! Probably not even paying for your Wi-Fi right now. So you on Facebook? No, because like Facebook is, I feel like, where you go to get radicalized if you were born in like 1973. The only thing I want Facebook is for Facebook to, like, go away forever, ideally. Orbsium. No, no, no. Yeah, honestly, I like my setup right now. We need we need better relics in the future. Base, true, so true, plus two, plus two. Twitter's next. Honestly, I agree. I, I think Twitter's, uh... I think it's closer to the... I think it's past its peak point of, of cultural relevancy and importance, if it ever had it. I think it did. The president was tweeting on it like six times a damn day. It had relevance, at least. I think, but I, I don't think there's like a next. I don't think it's like we're all leaving Twitter and going to Mastodon or like Truth Social or whatever. I think anybody that's been on Twitter for like more than two years is like, once this shit's done, I'm out of the damn game. I'm not signing up for any more. It's... You, you, you just gotta, like, be prevention, an ounce of prevention is worth a pound of cure. I'm like, I'm not signing up for any of that shit. I want to get back to the small world where I don't know everything about absolutely everybody I've ever interacted with. Or never interacted with, I should say. Go back to, like, you know, just knowing, like, a hundred people. That's, that's what I think is the next step in my social media revolution. It is nice to have a thousand people that'll click uh, like on a tweet about, I mean, not even about a tweet that just says veggies straws. So like, that's pretty cool. But then when like half of those people are like, um, you know, insane. <laughs> I don't know this. It takes some of the fun out of it, I guess. I want like a Twitter where you can't reply. I want it. I want like a read-only Twitter. All you can do is read what I write and click a like a heart or not click anything. That's the that's the dream. If you want to reply, you can pay me ten cents for the reply. I acknowledge fully, by the way, this is very bad for the user who is not me. But I, I also want to acknowledge, I don't want you to reply. The 10 cents is just, in, in economics, we call it a disincentive. I don't really want to make the 10 cents from your reply. I actually just don't want you to reply. If you, if I have to read it, you know, there's got to be a little juice for me on the back end. Incredible. Okay, are we gonna lose here? I don't know, we got 83 HP. We're not gonna hit a crit, discard this. They don't move forward the first time we reload, so that's pretty exciting. I'm gonna try to get some bounces off the side here. Mm, I needed to get in the gap, Johnny Damon. 
I, I really want to hit that bomb so I can take out this plant at the same time as the as the mole. Fireball, I love it. Watch this. Huge. Now the other bomb in the middle, it's a perfect shot. It's really the perfect shot. Huge. Go ahead and smack me, see if I care. We want to see more bombs go down. By the way, I did, I'm not looking at chat right now, unless you pay me 10 cents. But Johnny Damon, probably indeed the most contemporary basketball player, or sorry, baseball player I'm familiar with. Get on. Get on, man. Johnny Damon. He he was he played for the Yankees, he played for the Red Sox. He makes a brief appearance in Moneyball uh, in name alone. I really thought we were hitting that crit. Back in the era of it's just Manny being Manny. You know what I'm talking about? Nope. He got a DUI. See, this is why I just... You have to pay me 10 cents to tell me that Johnny Damon got a DUI. I don't... I'm not condoning it, but I don't need... I've never met the man. I feel like that's information that I shouldn't necessarily be privy to. You know, it's not it's not actionable in my life. There's never going to be a time where, like, I'm going to be like, oh, don't drive right now. Johnny Damon's on the road. I'll never know. Now, if I ever meet Johnny Damon, I can't be like, oh, that's Johnny Damon. Sure, give me another Inferno Orb, man. I gotta be like, hey, Johnny Damon, nice to meet you. Hey, by the way, what's up with your DUI? I, he's, he's gonna be on the defense. Like, he shouldn't have done it, don't get me wrong, but he's gonna be on the defense all the time. Okay. I'm going gift that keeps on giving. We made it through the first level already. So don't bring it up? Yeah, but I'll be thinking it. He's gonna know my vibes are off. Yeah, you can't minus two lull me. That's like, that's against the creator code. He was a horrible guest on Below Deck. I don't know any of this shit, man. What is, isn't Below Deck one of those shows where they get like hot people to not fuck on a boat? Yes, it is. And then they fuck. Oh, whoa, surprise, surprise. Who would have thought? I'm starting to think that was Netflix's master plan the whole damn time. Dude, durable seems kind of sick. Seriously, you would love it? My media diet has been a lot better. Have I been watching a little Moon Knight? Yeah. Have I been watching a lot of shit TLC? No. I, you, the number one show, if you were going by watch time, the number one show I've watched in the last 30 days is definitely The Chef Show. Sometimes I have like an hour and a half, two hours of admin work at night, like YouTube thumbnails and stuff like that. I just put on The Chef Show on my uh, on my right monitor. I think it's, it, I, I have never cooked a recipe from The Chef Show, but it's inspired me to like care more about my cooking. Also, I wanted to get mad because, like, I don't think I like Robert Rodriguez very much. Then the Robert Rodriguez episode of The Chef Show came on, and I was so ready to hate this guy. And then he cooked, like, 15 amazing pizzas and gave them some homemade chocolates. And uh, I was like, you motherfucker. This, guy's a, this guy puts a lot of damn care into everything he does. I don't know if he's a good guy or whatever. I was, I was getting ready to be pissed off. Instead, he was like, hey, here's some amazing food and like draw a photo in my book. Oh, by the way, like I love everybody. I'm like, okay, Robert Rodriguez. I still think Death Proof is better than Planet Terror, just FYI. How does that strike you? Plus two. People were not ready for that take in like 2008, but or 2006, I guess, but I was when I saw Death Proof and uh, 
Planet Terror. I was like, Planet Terror, it's kind of funny. She's got like a, a gun leg. I get it. When I saw Death Proof, I was like, this shit is like, this shit is dynamite. I very much enjoyed the uh, Death Proof. I have no idea what I'm doing, in case that wasn't obvious. But I think I'm, I'm playing a much more consistent Peggle game than usual. You know what? Like, my shots are bad, but my actual, uh, my relic selection, I think, and my orb uh, abstaining is a lot better than usual for me. This is, this is an atypical performance on that side. No, watch this. Dodge this. You can't. Agent Smith. You know what's so interesting about The Matrix? It was really inspiring that they had the, the least generic agent was called Agent Smith. In this video essay, we will explore the history of assumed nomenclature in cyberpunk media. But first, a word from our sponsors. Cue up 45 minute audible advertisement by the way part two is coming out next week oh they never made another video ever again okay land me i, I want to land low and hit some refreshes oh you missed all the refreshes man this is an all-time tangent what can i say what can i say don't even get me started on the bond market, man. Don't even get me started. But first, the word from our sponsor. Dude, I, Audible is kick-ass. I don't need, like, I'm not hating on Audible. I'm not hating on many of the, of the classic, like, podcast advertisements. Like, we have a, a Casper mattress. That shit is dynamite. I would recommend it to anybody. I'll still take my upgrade here. Audible is also sick. Like, I I could sleep without Audible, but I would have to break my my current muscle memory. Because, like, I, I fall asleep to Audible shit every night. A dark obelisk looms before you. You know what? I don't want an obelisk. Get rid of a stone. And then I would love to fight an elite if possible. What? Oh, these are unbreakable. <laughs> I thought I was so smart. I'm thinking, okay? I would love to not hit a bomb. Pop me right there. Oh, that's beautiful. Oh, it's not beautiful. We're going, we're in bomb city, but durable, it's durable. We're critting, it's durable, it's totally fine, okay. I'm trying to think of what else. I mean, I've said my opinions on a lot of those companies. <laughs> for better and for worse, so for my future like marketing value, but... I don't want you right now, I want some AoE. I would love to have gotten a little more than that, but you know, it is what it is. I think you die here. Um, I think you might be right, but... If I can just hit my bombs as fast as possible and maybe get some refresher orbs in there, like Dendi at TI1. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Drop me right there. Hit that bomb. Get the refresh started. Ooh, baby. Get the refresh started. Land me. Land me the left side. Left side. You can still make it. You can still make it. Can't still make That's fine. Hold on. Crit me. Quick crit. Quick crit. Quick. 180. Okay. 180. Huge hit. Okay, we need to hit the refresher here, which also causes a crit. Um, yeah, you know what? You're, you're probably dead. We're probably dead. What do you think about curiosity streams? I'll be honest with you, I don't know what the hell that is. This is the worst shot you ever could have done here. 
I look, I was trying to get it to go over here, but then when I clicked up here to shoot, there was an enemy in the way, so I said, you know what? I'll just send it lower instead. Not not wise. I'm dead. I'm dead. You're right. I died. That was very astute. <clears throat> we did like no damage. Just kill me. Probably run one more back. Restart me. Most consistent Peggle performance. Will NL win this run? No. No, I did not. Start my prediction. Will NL win this run? Heal one for every peg hit after battle. Flying enemies are also attacked horizontal. You're immune to damage when reloading. Give me the super boots, man. I got a problem with Peglin. Um, all the orbs seem like ass and all the relics seem amazing. That's my one minute review right now. Every time I see an orb, I'm never excited. I'm always like, I don't need that. Except for the ones that do like overflow. Like the bold orb. Every time I see a relic, I'm like, I have to have it. The only good ones are the AOE orbs. You know, it's alright, it's early access. I'm not a game designer. I just know what I like. But yes, the chef show, good show, honestly. Great cooking show. I would say it's it's up there with um, Master Chef Junior. Because on the Chef Show, like, John Favreau never, like, um, tells, like, an eight-year-old kid they're never going to make it as a professional chef because they're not yelling at their, uh, at their teammates. So, you know, it's always going to lose a little bit to Master Chef Junior in that capacity. But on the other hand, it's just kind of nice to see two dudes being bros, you know? can't do it okay just guys being dudes you know how it is not a good fight splatorb applies rubber slime icicle orb icicle orb is good critical hits pierce through enemies so it's literally just take everything that's that has the chance to be aoe and ignore everything that's not aoe that's the ticket. What a shot, dude. What a shot. Easy crit. Didn't even hit the damn walls. Anyway, that's all I got. We didn't really get up to much this weekend. But, like, honestly, you got to remember that for company right now, excluding my spouse, we have a 19-month-old child and a uh, my parents. We have two 50, mid-50s uh, adults in tow right now. It's very hard to get the... I mean, in some ways, uh, the, their interests and the things that they get intimidated by overlap. Like, they don't want to go to a restaurant that has, like, a trendy menu. They just want to go to a restaurant that has, like, a version of something that they've already eaten many times before, but then has, like, jicama in it or something like that. So they can be like, whoa, you can really taste the jicama. But apart from that, there's not really... I mean, it's a, it's a diverse group of interests to all fit into one thing together. But we all love taking a walk. I think I walked like, according to Pokemon Go, I walked 15 kilometers this weekend, but I didn't even turn on Adventure Sync until yesterday. So I think they they stole like a few kilometers out of my pocket, quite frankly. I, I bet I probably walked like 22 kilometers this weekend. Are you not dead? I should pay attention. No, it doesn't matter. In the early game, you got nothing to worry about. Rice versus no rice in, in burritos. Right, Rice answers only, please. Did I read that wrong? It sounds like I read it wrong. I'll take a bob orb. Um, 
I think I read that wrong too. A bomb orb? Um, I don't like... Uh, well, it depends. Here's the thing. I am very like uh, anti-anti-filler. Whenever people are like, oh, you can't have like this. You can't have beans in a chili because like it's that that's just filler. You can't have like this in a in a this or it's just filler. I'm I give me the filler, man. Like some of those, some of the filler is like as good as the actual product itself. I'll, give me beans in my chili. I don't care. Give me give me lettuce on my burger. I don't care. But uh, in a burrito, I mean it depends. Hold on, you skip, you go through the first orb. That's important for me. Never mind. <laughs> I guess it only if it's not a bomb. Um, well, we should have hit a crit here to get the AOE then. Who says this? Literally go to go to a streamer, go to Apollo's chat and ask him how he feels about beans and chili. Like that's how Texas uh, Texans shorthand their personality is telling you things you can't do with food that's really just glorified stew. Plus two, plus two. I love, insulting one state is like the easiest way to get laughs, and I love it. Cause like, you think you're all in this together? Nah, man. You get a group of 50 people together, you want to get 49 people to like you right away? Just make fun of one of them. Everybody else is going to be like, so true. I'm so glad he wasn't talking about, you know, Louisiana. Oh, why, why would I use this? Why would I use this? It's not bullying. It's Texas. I think I want a better icicle orb. There we go. But like rice in a burrito, yeah, okay, I've, I've determined that I would, I typically do get rice in my burrito. I had to think about it for a little bit. You can discard an additional orb. When I order from Chipotle, which is very rarely now, because I used to get the burritos and the burritos were good. Then I said, you know what? The tortilla is great, but I'd like to, you know, remove 270 calories from my order let's embrace the lightning here we get a ball lightning level two i started getting burrito bowls but then the burrito bowls come in this like biodegradable container where the bottom of the bowl is like already almost like soaked through by the time it arrives also like three out of five times that we ordered chipotle in 2022 they just ignored my wife's order and just gave me two burrito bowls that were my order. And I know what you're going to say, like, it, it sounds like that's like a you problem. I've gone back and checked the order. Like, I think it's just there's like one burrito bowl maker at the Chipotle that we order from that just like forgets whose order is whose. And it's just like, I'm just going to give them two number ones or whatever. What do you do again? You hit all in a column. Can target any enemy on screen. Okay, well, give me a crit and then just bounce me around. Sounds fine to me. I did save a, a dude's life. Like, not literally, obviously, but... I mean, if I had the opportunity, I would like to think that I would try at least. But we, uh, we ordered Uber Eats. This is probably, like, close to a month ago now. He... Before making the order, I, I saw him outside and I was like, he's going to drop the food off any second now. But then he was like taking a really long time. Then we got a phone call and the phone call was like, hey, I have your food. I'm outside. And we were like, that's cool. You can just leave it there. And he was like, OK, can you just come out and check it? Because I'm new at this and I want to make sure I didn't make a mistake. The dude gave us not only our food, but then like four other people's food. Like at the same time. And then I looked at the bags and I was like, thank you. It just didn't even come into my head. And then like a second later, I saw there was like one bag said like Samantha on it. One bag said like David. And I was like, whoa, 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 come back. And I handed him like three one kilogram enormous paper bags and was like, these aren't for me. It was... I, I have to feel like that would have been a horrible day. For, not just for the driver, but for everybody that was like waiting for their food too. 
Like, I don't mind that Uber's gonna have to reimburse the other people. Like, if I was gonna steal it, which I didn't, for the record. But then you got, like, you know, three hungry families out there. And sometimes, like, that's all you're looking forward to, man. You have, like, a hard day at work, but you're like, oh, I'm gonna order, like, Nando's tonight or whatever. That can keep you going. I don't want to be responsible for somebody going over the edge as a result of that or something. I I wanted to bomb. What a shot. Does Vancouver have a Nando's? It has one Nando's. Could you hit the refresh, please? Oh, no. <laughs> Come on, man. I just need to hit the refresh. Oh my god. What the hell is this board, dude? What the? It just gets worse. Whatever, he's half dead. What does he do? Like 25 damage a turn? I've had Nando's before, yeah. I mean, I, I'm, I'm kind of into it because I grew up eating... Swiss Chalet, and I feel like Nando's is just kind of like better Swiss Chalet. My wife, not a huge fan. Something about like my childhood, like eating an entire rotisserie chicken and a bunch of potato wedges is like my ideal meal. Um, but not, she doesn't have that shared experience, right? I will also say that what is the, the Nando's like super hot called? We got a free sample of that in like a Hello Fresh box or something one time. And that was a. Uh, that's a very good hot sauce. I'll take another icicle for sure. Pay, it was Perry Perry, but it's like. Maybe it's just called Super Hot. Give me Crits Refresh. That's huge. And I'm, I'm going for the other Elite. You can call me crazy if you want. Extreme? I don't know. It was like the orange one. Whatever the, the orange degree is. Enemies don't get their extra turn for first reload. Don't you know he's Loki? Orange is just hot. It was one level. I remember it had like a superlative attached to it. It was not just hot. It was like, you know, a little bit hotter than hot. Not, dude, I'm being honest with you. I, I, this is what aging does to an mf -er, okay? I can't remember what day it was. I think it was, it was, I remember immediately. It was uh, Thursday night. We ordered Indian food. I didn't even get it, like, spicy, you know? I got it medium. We got, uh, there's four, four adults. We got, um... A chicken tikka masala, a lamb curry, a lentil curry, and some chana masala. I woke up at like 2 a.m. and thought I was having like a, a coronary event, like a myocardial infarction. Um, while being, you know, extremely tired because I woke up in the middle of the night, self-diagnosed that like, you know, I, I'm feeling pretty good. It's just like a burning sensation in my breastbone. It's probably just what people have described to me, uh, what heartburn feels like and i've never really experienced it myself um then i thought whoa that was weird i ate the same indian food for lunch on friday and got the same heartburn again and but here's what's crazy man on saturday we had some korean food had a little like uh yukge jang had a little kimchi bokumbap both of which were spicier than the Indian food we got, by design. No heartburn. What the heck? So I, I think, and the only reason I'm thinking this is because Jay, I remember, told a story very similar to this. No joke. On the day that we ate the Indian food, I remember Kate laughing at me because I drank a can of sparkling water. I was so thirsty. I drank it like in 45 seconds and then burped like 10 times in a row. I'm wondering if I didn't set myself up for failure. Like maybe by, by 
chugging the seltzer, essentially. I like screwed up my pyloric sphincter or something like that. And then gave myself uh, acid reflex. Give me an upgrade anyway. I'm going for it. No, no, no. Give me the eye circle, eye, eye circle upgrade. Immediately deal one damage to the target enemy for every two hit. I love it. Acid reflex? Sorry, you know what I mean. Probably. See, that's why I shouldn't go for the heals. Everyone's like, use your relic 2022 challenge. Okay, I'll use my relic real quick. You didn't get hurt? Yeah, but I lost face. So that's even more bad than physical pain. I'll flip the damn chip. You lose the flip? I'll flip the damn chip. Weighted chip. Bottom slots gain multipliers that increase or negate your shot damage. That sounds horrible. Let's do it. All right. Weighted chip is horrible. Horrible enough to kill two elites in a row? Times zero. Holy cow. Well, let's just start with some bombs. Okay. Times two, baby. I'm a big believer in the idea that, like, because I'm bad at the game, anything that's lucky is better for me than for an average player. That sounds conceivable to me. The worse you are, the more you should rely on luck. If it gives you a chance to to compensate for your limited skill. And we're off to the damn races here. And we got the times two on a zero. Let's go. Dude, that bomb was kind of huge though. I don't think it'll zero out bombs, so I, I think this is like this, this is good. This is a it's it's a, it's a dream. Don't times zero me on you can't do anything. Oh, times one! That's my favorite. Just bombs. Don't need the overflow damage. Big whoop. I want to land right in here. How how did you miss it? How did you miss all of them? It doesn't seem plausible. Whatever, you're dead. Upgrade an orb. You making so many more bombs seems fantastic. Orbs persist. Whenever you take damage, deal that damage. No, no. Orbs persist, man. Orbs persist. That's the dream, probably. No heal? I don't need it, because I heal on these. Look. So smart. I am very smart. Still still healing after all these years? I'm willing to take as long as it takes, man. There we go. Okay. You know what? One of these days? Just to take a little extra HP into the boss fight would be... Would be nice. Just does not being too picky. Just a couple. Sure, just one. All right. <laughs> oh, it's another elite first. Holy cow! That's a problem, man. Okay, eye circle is insanely good, though. Just oh my god, I, there's a bunch of there's a bunch of zeros over here. Oh no! It fizzled. I'm never playing this damn game again. It had its chance. You embarrassed me in front of my friends. Okay, lightning orb at a high yield location. Beautiful, beautiful landing. I just want to hit the crit. Okay, you've gone, you've gone right over top of the zero. You landed in the one, I'll take that. Should have changed position, but life goes on. I just need to hit this bomb and another bomb. This bomb is the big one. Target this fool, go for it. 
Okay, you hit both. That's even better. You hit both, you landed in the two. Get rid of the rock. Spam some bombs. Quick refresh in the bomb spam. In the refresh. In the bomb spam. In the bombs. In the crit. In the re in the bombs. He's bombing. And we get to go again. Then let's go again. It's that simple. Being able to use the bomb option two times, thanks to the persist, is very nice. Holy cow. He's, it's going off. Did you see that? Heal me. Be smarter on this one. Okay. I, I think you gotta look at the echo damage. Like, assuming that bombs play into that. I'll take my one health. It doesn't? Oh, okay. Well, never mind. Still pops, okay, I'll take it. Still pops, apparently. Get rid of this, it's ass. Get rid of this, it's ass. We don't really need crit damage. We just want to land double, like, our, our bomb persist shot as soon as possible. Didn't even look at the weighted chip options. Got insanely lucky. That's not so bad. Now, we get the icicle again. Orb Pierce's first peg. I mean, if we could land this towards the middle, that seemed to go pretty well. It's gonna hit a times two, which is nice too. Now, Bomba? I don't know if we're gonna get in there for the Bomba. Give it a try though, give it a try. Okay, huge failure, colossal failure, but we did do echo damage. Also, a, a marked failure, but not that bad. There we go. Now, we you just make a couple of bad shots. You're good to go. Who cares about the lightning damage? It's all about the bomb damage right now anyway. I remember you was conflicted. Choosing your trajectories. You always dodge the first peg. We gotta hit the bomb. Get shoved into the crit area. No? Okay. I hate this arena, man. At least he landed in the times one. It's actually good to be inside of him here. It, it gives us better shots. Skip the first peg. Refresh. Go to the moon. Land in the, land in the zero. Okay, very smart. You gotta think about where you're gonna land. Okay, we wanna land in the twos. Okay, we got a dagger. Use one of these, land in the two. If you land in the ones, I'm not gonna cry. That's a good two to land in. And then just go straight down, land in the twos. Even if we land in the point fives, we're, you're dead. I'm happy that's over. <laughs> okay. Magnet, attacks deal more damage, take damage the longer something survives. Dude, I mean, you gotta go magnet. Even, I've, I've been told it got nerfed, but you still gotta, you gotta try it. You still gotta run it. Don't go magnet, I doubt it. It's all right, the points don't do anything. Maybe eventually we'll put it in a way where you can, if you get like enough points, we'll send you like a Balenciaga shirt or something like that, but we're not there yet. We're not there yet. The, the internet's not ready for it. Also, you probably wouldn't even want it because I would do the one that has the Fortnite locations on it. You're not all dead. That's, a, that's insane to me. That's crazy to me. Okay. Any bomb in a storm. The other great thing about the magnet is I feel like I don't even have to aim anymore. It's just perfect. Like that was beautiful. Upgrade me. Better ice circle. Honestly, I would prefer to just, I, I shot for the fire. <laughs> I don't care where we go. 
Well, goodbye, elites. I should have cared. Get owned. Okay, you need... We need crits. Why would I land... I landed in the refresh orb with nothing around it. My words, like, were not the same as my actions there. That was still a great shot, but I think we usually owe that to um, the magnet and the magnet alone. Okay, I would like to get this crit. I was... If it didn't get it there, like, I, I don't know what to tell you. By the way, we're gonna win this run. As long as we, we don't end up in a zero, look at that. We're gonna win this run. It's over. Straight down. My points, my points. It feels damn good. Any advice for a new dad expecting in November? Um, I've said it a few times. But really, like, predominantly not really. My advice would actually be, like, maybe a little counter to what most people would tell you. I would say, like, chill out. Like, it's largely just... I think it's the greatest definition of, like, you know, it's a marathon, not a sprint, you know? Like, it's a little scary, for sure. I'm landing in the zero. I'm landing. In, I'm, I landed in the zero. Hold on. It's a vibe. Yeah, like it's. I guess the thing is, like, it's not. So, advice is always good. Don't get me wrong. But it's not the sort of thing where I'm gonna give you like one piece of wisdom and it'll be like, you know, oh, this is like all new dads have to hear this. Like, you're never gonna find like a Reddit life pro tip that's like, here's how to be like a good dad. You mostly just like. I'm alive. I was looking forward to having all of the mirrors be killed. Now I might end up in a, in a zero and be a little upset. Um, I think um, it's more like, I mean, it, and it very much depends on the ages, right? Like when your kid is a newborn, it's actually pretty easy. At least like it, it was for us. The only thing that's hard about it is that you're not going to be getting a lot of sleep and it's going to be like, you know, your schedule is going to be fucked up. <laughs> it's going to be like horrible. Okay, fine. Duplicate a random orb, but be a good one. Another ball lightning. That's okay. Now, like, so I'm a parent to a toddler. Without a doubt, the number one skill apart from like, um... What I would say is the obvious, and the obvious is, like, don't let her put things that are the size of her windpipe into her mouth. The number one thing you gotta do is just be patient, like, literally 100% of the time. Like, I watched her for, like, I don't know, like, three hours yesterday, and I was, she's my daughter, right? I was having a good time, but there was, I was trying to change her diaper, and she, like, balls. I'm trying to, like, you know... Uh, put socks on her and she's like, no, I don't want socks on me. I'm gonna cry like, you know, this is the worst thing that's ever happened to me. Finally, like, we, we got her, like, di diaper change and stuff like that. I went downstairs. I cracked open a sparkling water. I put it down on a coaster on the coffee table. She immediately grabbed it and poured the whole thing out on my pants. And I was just like... It's not like I was in danger of losing it and being like you know, snapping or anything like that, but I just, I had, I'll admit, I had to take, like, a minute and just kind of, like, breathe through it and be like, this just, it's just a patience game. It's just a, you gotta, you know, you you lose if, if you get upset. Because she's just a baby. She doesn't know what she's doing. She's, like, genetically hard-coded to, like, you know, grab objects she's not familiar with and, like, learn a little something about them. If it's my fault that, and it's hard to admit, okay, you got me. It's hard to admit it, but it's my fault that that thing was within her grasp to begin with. I didn't hit that bomb, huh? Don't land at a zero this time. Look, you're right there. You're right there. You can also just change pants in like 90 seconds. Okay, do that for like 17 years and then tell me if you're like a little bit 
upset or if it's just like a cool thing that you're excited to do every time. Oh, wait. If she's doing that for 17 years, that's on you? You know, what if I end up having eight kids two years apart? I've always wanted a huge family. I always saw, saw myself as... <laughs> I can't even keep a straight face. Hold on, hold on. I've always seen myself as the patriarch of a large, classic American family. I will say, and this is not to, like, you know, cast aspersions onto my cousin. We have a cousin, well, I have a cousin, who had her first child, like, um, the same week as us. Or maybe, like, a month, same month as us. That whole area is, like, kind of a blur in the calendar perspective. Um, so what a copycat. Ours was first, anyway. But she just had her second baby this weekend and i'm like man she's had a crazy sort of couple of years she's got a one and a half year old and a one and a half day old how's that working out for you <laughs> I'm not like, you, I, look, here's the thing. There's people, people want to like different things in their lives. A lot of people these days don't want any kids. A lot of people want, you know, maybe one, maybe two. Then there's some people out there. If you want like four kids, five kids, you kind of got to go for the gusto. You know, you can just the way like physiology works. You got to set your mind to it, you know, by a certain point and you kind of got to give it your all. So I, I'm assuming that that's what, uh, like, that's what's going on. But man, I was like, with this, one of the things that got me through, like, the hard parts of this weekend was just thinking about, like, man, could be, uh, I could be a lot busier right now. Could be like my, I don't know, what is, what's my cousin's husband? They're a cousin-in-law or something? Could be like my cousin-in-law has a, an 18-month-old. And then also an 18 hour old. And then also his uh, his wife just had a C-section. So he's on like full like recovery duty there. I was, I was pouring one out for him this weekend. I was busy, but I was like, you know, could always have more, that's for sure. I don't want these stones, just heal me. I'm having a second after six years. We'll see how that goes. I don't think that's too crazy. Like, in the moment, it seems like a long time for sure. I think to have, like, a... To be 15 and have, like, a nine-year-old little brother or something, that seems relatively normal. Cousin's husband is just some guy. He's a good guy. I got nothing against him. He's more than some guy to me. Whenever we see each other at Thanksgiving, we, we, we don't just exchange pleasantries. We, we talk a little bit. Not a lot, but a little. I had, you know, more than me and my cousin do, honestly, so. Uh. Look at this, man. We win the game. That's like an A-tier family member. I mean, I, a tier family member, dude, I love my parents. We get along very well. Good conversations. I don't really have anybody in, like, my extended family that... You gotta remember, like, I grew up in a, in a very rural area. Before you say Kingston's not rural, it's a little rural, and also I didn't even grow up in Kingston. I grew up, like, you know, 40 minutes outside in the damn woods. So I was always showing up, you know, with, uh, you know, my octagonal glasses and my thin little hair flipped up in the Lance Bass. People would be like, how's school? Everybody else was slamming back, smearing off ice as they were like 15 years old. What the heck is the darkness at Turball? Post-battle healing is increased by 2% for each orb in your deck. 
sure. I don't want to take anything that that does better for us when our health is lower, because we're never going to lose health anyway. So, like, I, you know, I don't begrudge them, but we, we grew up different, that's for sure. You got any funny family uh, gathering stories? I was, like, I have never really had, like, in my adult life, I've never had, like, the crazy uncle who, like, just shows up and, you know, thinks the turkey's overcooked because of Joe Biden or whatever. But I definitely, and, and I had repressed this memory for like a little bit, I think. But I remember at, it was a Thanksgiving or a Christmas. It was me and, uh, that was incredible. It was me and three of my cousins who came from the same family. So I was an only child, and then it was like, they're all part of the same family unit. We were playing dominoes, but not even playing dominoes. We were just stacking dominoes, like, you know, ma making like a domino tower. And I remember that uh, one of my cousins, who was like nine, kept stealing dominoes from my other cousin, who was like 13. Uh, and then eventually my 13-year-old cousin pushed him backwards off of his chair and then stepped on his throat and he had to go to the hospital. And then simultaneously, one of my aunts and a, a different uncle, i.e. not her husband, were having like a screaming match and then she left the Thanksgiving because she was in tears. That, but since like, uh, since the new millennium, I don't think I've had any crazy uh, family experiences. I feel blessed for that. Monk of Giga featuring Robert Downey Jr. Well, when you're a kid, you don't really get it, right? You're just like, oh, okay, that's just like a thing that happens. Then when you're older, you're like, what the hell? You couldn't keep it together for one meal? I think we win. Kids have a better perspective. No, man, no, they, they do not. They don't get it at all. Maybe they pick up on the vibe, but like, hey, I'm, I'm not talking about like, you know, like a 12 year old. Like if you're a 12 year old, you go over to your friend's house and you know, his mom and dad are like shouting at each other. You're like, well, that's not a good sign. But when you're like three, you're like, okay. You know, it's a lot of information you gotta pick up on. I need more bombs, I'm realizing. Pet's dog? Yeah, exactly. It just screws you up, like, later, and you don't know why, I'm sure. Luckily, I don't have any of that to deal with. I'm pretty much... I'm just, like, a normal guy. Look at that bounce. What an incredible bounce. And then right into the two piece. Look at this. Holy cow. Times zero incoming. It doesn't matter even if we did get the time zero, which we didn't by the way, but it wouldn't even matter because we have the bombs. They've loaded an arrow into it. Oh no, hold on. Is it doing it at the back then? I can't, oh! 30 damage and I'm spinning. Honestly, didn't really seem like that much of a detriment. Thoughts on the NHL playoffs tonight? Canucks fans don't listen, okay? I'm actually genuinely rooting for the Calgary Flames. As a Canucks fan, it seems like sacrilege because we're like rivals, but I like the former Canucks that are on Calgary. I like Tyler Toffoli. Oh, we gotta take a bold orb, man. I like Tyler Toffoli. I love Jacob Markstrom. Give me some more durability. I like, I, I love Chris Tanev, you know? Moreover, sp sports rivalries kind of cringe to begin with, even though I also participate in them. Um, 
moreover, I would like to see a Canadian team, like, win. It's been a long time. Obviously, I would prefer if, like, my team was the team that did it, and maybe we would get some, you know, national respect, but... I, I'm, I'm past the point. I'm, I'm letting, you know, grudges dissipate. I'm rooting for the, for the Calgary Flames. Which, based on my sports prediction history, is probably like the kiss of death. <laughs> so you shouldn't be stoked, but... Wild or Blues? I mean, I hated playing both of those teams in the bubble playoffs. I would rather see the Wild win, though. As much as I've, I've gone to bat against Minneapolis-St. Paul... Oh, good one. A riot joke. Last time I heard that, I fell off my dinosaur. You better hope there's nothing uh, embarrassing in your civic history. Oh, wait, you're from the United States of America? Hmm. I plead the fifth. You've been through enough. Don't drop me in the zero. Put me in the black hole. Don't drop me in the zero! They drop me in the damn zero, man. Okay, I would like to crit here. I would like to not go in the zero. Whatever, we take a little damage, who cares? Nobody. I would like to hit the twos on this one. Hello. Could, could I help you what? Oh, absolutely. Okay, one moment, please. I forgot what I was talking about. Sports? Some form of sports? Times two, times two. Nothing important? Well, you know what? That's true. That's pretty true. Look at that heel, too. Oh my god. Oh my god. South Cincinnati. No, I'm not gonna grow up my beard. This is like, you could tell um, like whether I've had a, an availability of free time lately. I would like to fight a forest boss. If I'm starting to grow in a beard, it means that I've been a little strapped for time. Hold on, drop me right here. We, it's like Isaac, you know, we already rolled that, that beard for like a year. Just go back and watch old episodes if that's the arc you're into. Bombs are gonna go hard. Let it grow? No, I'm not gonna grow my facial. Why are you? You're like a um, multi-level marketing. Like people with beards are always like, you should grow a beard. You just like my beard makes your beard grow in value because it's like an affirmation that you made the right facial hair decision. I've just been like lazy lately. You, we want it to be more acceptable? What are you talking about? It's like the dominant facial hair style.
They're, they're extremely, you see it every day. It's extremely common. What is it? What's next? You know, oh, us beard wearers are so discriminated against. I don't think so. Mustaches, yeah. I mean, when you... You better be handsome if you're wearing a mustache. Or you better be, like, quirky looking, in which case a mustache gives you the confidence to appear perhaps more handsome than nature allowed you to by base principles, which I respect as well. Bombs get refreshed. Wall bounces contribute to damage. Sure, why not? I'm... What the hell? Where does goatee fall into the line? Here's what I'm going to say, okay? Right now, my understanding of fashion, which might not be the best, but my understanding of fashion is that if you have a goatee, you better be, like, over the age of 40 right now. Otherwise, you are, like, kind of committing, like, social suicide. I, I had a goatee for a while when I was younger. Probably past the peak of them actually being, like, acceptable. But not now when it turns you into, like, a pariah, at least. I don't think... Now you don't want to be wearing a goatee as a young man. Worth. Worth? Worth? Yeah, worth. Not worth. Not worth? Okay. I can't grow anything else? I mean, I don't think there's anything wrong with rocking the clean shaven, man. Here's what I'll tell you, because, like, it's, the, it's one of those things, it's like the, the classic, like, underweight problem, right? Where people are like, oh, whenever you're, like, if you're overweight, people would never say something to you that's like, oh, um, you know, eat a salad or something like that. Are you sure you want that hamburger? You know, like, what you should really be having a salad. But if you're underweight and you order something that's good for you, people will be like, no, you should get a cheeseburger and french fries. Like, you're so skinny, eat a sandwich, you know? They, they will say stuff like that to you and not feel that it's fucked up. This, a similar thing happens to the older than you look, under than you look. Older, you look older than you are, you look younger than you are, okay? When you look younger than you are, People, and I didn't realize this until I was with Kate, but people will like rag on you all the time. No one would ever be like, oh wow, you're like 30? You look like you're fucking 50. They realize that shit's offensive as hell. But if you're like 24 and people go, you look like you're in high school, they'll say that shit to you at a moment's notice like if they just met you at a restaurant or something like that. And it's like equally kind of disheartening to hear. But here's what I will say. There is a, and if you're, if you're like, oh, I hate looking younger than I am right now, I want to tell you that there's solace for you because my wife has always looked like six years younger than she actually is. And it sucked for like a long time, but now she's 30 and she's realizing that that shit owns because all the people that said that shit to her when they were like the same age, now they look old and busted. And she looks like she's, like, in her early 20s. She's still getting carded when she buys things at, like, the liquor store and stuff like that. She's got... And she's got years and decades and decades of that ahead of her. I, on the other hand, shaved my head at the age of 19, so I've kind of, like, permanently been 35 for the last almost 20 years. But anyway, I'm just saying it sucks for a while, but then you turn the corner. So there is, there is solace for you when you think about the long game, at least. I like this. We got a lot of times twos over here. Maybe it would be nice to hit like a single thing. <laughs> Shaving your head seems high maintenance. I'm here to tell you it's like by far the easiest hairstyle you'll ever experience in your life. Like, I notice right now, my hair is quote-unquote long, right? By, by my standards, at least. Um, let, let's stay on this side. But to you guys, it just looks like my facial hair is growing out, and maybe I got a little, like, Elliot Spitzer going on. 
to me it feels like I'm like, man, I'm like old and busted here. I gotta start shaving this off. It's looking silly. But literally, if I, so this is about like six days, no shaving. I could do a week no shaving without it really being noticeable. And the shave takes 10 minutes. That's like a minute and a half a day of, of hair care. Most people spend more than that like every time they walk by a plate glass window. It doesn't get any easier. That's not bad at all. I'll do you one, but I think it's better than not bad. It's, it's like nothing. A minute and a half a day of maintenance? It's like, it's as close to zero as you get. You spend more time than that every day questioning whether you should go to the bathroom when you have to go to the bathroom. Still living. Boldor. Also, you don't have to buy shampoo. That's true. That's how, because that's like probably like a $20 a year savings. I recently got a, uh, a credit card that has 1% cash back. It's exclamation, well, it's not a credit card. It's, it's a prepaid visa that offers 1% cash back. Exclamation point wealth simple. It's the wealth simple cash card. And I am becoming insufferable. I'm sure Kate will tell you. Anytime we buy anything, I'm like, let me get it. And then I pay for it on my wealth simple cash card. And then I like obsessively refresh the app and I'm like, holy shit. You know those groceries we just bought? I just got 31 cents of VEQT. That's like 1% of a share right now. Holy cow. That's like free money in, in the bank. It is. I mean, 1%. Oh, that what a shot. Unfortunately, please, please. You're, we're getting zero. There's no doubt about it. I would love it if it was more than 1%, but like 1% is still, it's pretty good. That's passive income. Why, it, it, it's doing the same thing? It's doing, don't, not, not zero, okay, I'll take my times one. 1% 1 is bad. It's 1% I didn't have before. I need icicles. No, Bold Orb will be fine. There's loads of credit cards with 2% now. Really? Well, simple. You got to up your game up, man. I was so excited to use the car. I, I generated like a dollar in free stock rewards this weekend. Now I'm like, shit, man, that could have been $2. Not the zero. Not the zero! Costco credit card gets 3%. Dude, someone just said my TD Visa gets 5%. There's no, you gotta read the fine, the fine print on that one. There's no way they're giving you like 5%. Maybe like 5% on the first thousand dollars or something like that. Otherwise I'd be putting that shit on, like my mortgage I'd be putting on it. See this house, I got it 5% off. My credit union is 5%. You gotta read the fine print before you go getting people excited about stuff like that. There's no way it's like a conditionless 5%. That's such an insane, like, value. I, I, I don't believe it. Now, I want to believe it. You have bad credit if you think 5% is high. What the hell are you talking about? Hold on, hold on. Best credit. Like, you know, bonds are paying like 2.75% right now. Like a month and a half ago, they were like 75 basis points. These credit card companies are giving 5% cash back. I don't believe it. I understand that it's subsidized by the interest that the 
their accounts are paying, but still, it just doesn't seem like fiscally plausible to me. Best credit card cash back. Let's say Canada for now, just to keep it applicable to me. Add, 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 add. Okay, here's the first one. 10%. Wow, pretty good. 10% back on everyday purchases. Uh, up to $100 in your first two months. Okay, well, that'll cover, I don't know, uh, a steak and two loaves of bread at the grocery store these days. Canada's seven best cash back credit cards. Okay, here we go. 10% up to $100. 2% on up to three categories of your choice. Okay. That is better than 1%. That's the Tangerine Money Back card. Brim MasterCard. 1% on everyday purchases, 3% on eligible airlines, 4% select retailers, which I have to imagine is probably Pizza Pizza, or the Triangle MasterCard. 4% at Canadian Tire, 1.5% groceries, 0.5% everything else. I gotta tell you, I mean, so these seem better than the Wealth Simple Cash card, but they don't seem better enough to make me change at this point. Also, it's not a credit card. It's a it's a prepaid visa, which is 10 times more annoying, but at least it also doesn't lead to a, a, I don't know, like a slight hit on your credit rating. What about America though? Where are all these mythical 5% cash back cards, man? Best cash back credit card, America. I'm checking because I'm 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 losing my damn mind. Six percent cash back at U.S. Su supermarkets on up to six thousand dollars a year in purchases. Then one percent. Your your fallback is is my flat rate. Six percent cash back on streaming subscription services. Okay, so that's like sixty cents a month rebate on Netflix. 3% cash back on transit, including parking, tolls, trains, buses, and more. 3% cash back at U.S. gas stations. 1% cash back on other purchases. This, uh, I gotta get a new credit card, man. This is crazy. This is insanity. I had no idea what I was missing. I've got, I've got a, the travel points and stuff like that, but that's just... Well, I mean, we'll probably use it at some point, but... Yeah, it is an annual fee of like $90, $95, but 6% cash back up to $6,000 a year? Holy cow. Don't resident sleep with me. This is important adult stuff. Even this one, 1% 1 cash back on every purchase every day. 1.5%. Two, mine is 2% unlimited. What the hell? Earn 2% on every purchase with unlimited 1% cash back when you buy, plus an additional 1% when you pay for the purchases. No wonder people love America so much. That's crazy. Anyway, I'm still, look, now I know that there's other options available out there. I'd like to get some health here. Um, oh, they're durable, so never mind. Um, I'd love to know if, if I could improve upon it in Canada, but you know what? I'm still excited about the like one dollar in free uh, in free Vanguard I got this weekend. You can't rain on my parade, man. I'm still stoked. We want to land. You know what? I'd like to land in the damn hole if possible. I mean, 2% cash back, oh my god. 2% cash back, that's like crazy. That's insanity. In a good way. I literally shot it like right at the zero, okay. My Fidelity account, I get 2% on everything and it just goes straight into the Roth IRA. 
I'm like, I'm mad, but I'm not mad at you. I'm just mad that like, we don't have a competitive option for that up here. Cause that seems, I mean, it seems amazing. That's the damn dream right there. Roth IRA snooze. Is this Apollo? Apollo must not be streaming right now. Partly because I saw him in my chat, which means he wouldn't be streaming. But partly because um, people are like, oh, you know, caring about uh, my retirement. Uh, oh, so it, look, I get it. Shit's like messed up right now, okay? But at the same time, if you just had 55,000 active subscribers on Twitch, you got no excuse, man. Go to the bank. Walk into the front door of your bank branch and just say, hello, I would like to open a Roth IRA. Somebody in a suit will sit down with you in two seconds. They'll ask you about your financial plan. Uh, and then when you say that you just had 50,000 active subscribers on Twitch, he will leave the room for 45 seconds and a guy in a nicer suit will come in and say, where were we? Where were we? I'm telling you, this... You got no excuse not to. It's just one enemy. Yo, what's her at? Where's Wormy? <laughs> Still a good shot. Bankers hate him. And then they'll probably be like, hey, you gotta buy these like Bank of America mutual funds where the ticker is like 900 characters long. And then you say my good friend, Northern Lion, and they'll probably know who I am. They'll say, he said that what I should do instead is uh, purchase uh, ETFs that have a lower MER than this, but thanks for the advice. And then he'll go, oh, what? And then you just walk out with your brand new Roth IRA and you're, you're good to go, man. I don't like this. I don't like this. I love this. Get up, get up. There we go. VTI's at a new 52 week low, bro. Chib, don't debase yourself. Everything's at a new 52 week low. Okay, put this right here. Every, it's so funny to look we're getting deep into the investing tangent i apologize but people like all of 2020 2021 people were like man i missed the covid correction i can't wait for the stock market to crash so like i can get involved warren buffett buy when there's blood in the streets and then 2022 there's blood in the streets people are like i sold what can I do with my cash to keep it safe during the inevitable impending recession? You gotta, you gotta make a plan when you're, uh, when you're sober and on emotional, and you gotta stick to that shit when it actually. I knew, like, I've never been more confident in the stock. This is not financial advice, by the way. I've never been more confident in the stock market than when I signed into the investing subreddits this weekend, and I saw like ten posts that were all about how like the, the Japanese stock market has not recovered to its 1991 high. I was like, if that's not a, if that's not blood in the streets, I don't know what is. Okay, hold on. This is not financial advice, by the way. I can, I can generate some HP off this. Easy. This man's, he's, he's taking the Benjamin Graham pill. Don't, after all that! Okay, I'll settle for three. That was an elite. That was so easy. What the hell? We're not, we only got 13 minutes left. There's no time for switch sports today. What's wrong with me? I'm just going to send it. We got to go bold orb and just let it fly, man. Apollo, you should start playing Pokemon Go again, by the way. If you're not going to open a Roth IRA, at least start playing some Pokemon Go with me. Are you all dead? Not even close. Let me see if I have any stops near me. I don't think I do. That's fine. I will say, like, when I play in Vancouver, I'm like, this game's a lot of fun. I just shot it straight into the damn zero, didn't I? 
miracle. Miracles happen every day. Okay, never mind. Um, when I uh, went to my in-law's house and they live in like uh, a rural area and there's no poke stops like within walking distance, I was like, why would anyone ever play this? It seems like an extreme waste of time. <laughs> Which is why I try to make sure that I send them a gift every day so they have a reason to like, they'll be excited, you know? They'll open the app and be like, whoa. Now that is a turn. That is a turn, look at that. I'll heal 40%. <clears throat> Why not? You're the relative that spans, spams in-game gifts? What are you talking about spams? You can only send one a day. And you can only send them after they've opened the previous one. If you want to stop receiving gifts, stop opening my gifts. Honestly, you don't deserve your relative that's sending you Pokemon Go gifts. They're probably like so excited to send them to you every day thinking they're making your day better. And instead you're in here complaining about it. Like they're probably opening the app inconveniencing themselves just to maintain like a little human connection to their relative. And then you're in here in my Twitch chat going, oh, my aunt sent me a gift again. She probably had to walk like 300 meters out of her way home just to get it, but it's so annoying to have to open it and get a bunch of free items. See a part of the world I've never been to before. Okay, remember, there's a lot of enemies here. That means we want Bold Orb and we want Crits. I have no control over this whatsoever. Plus two, you gotta love your aunt. Actually true, although I'm trying to think, I don't think I have a relationship with any of my, of the aunts in my life anymore. The side of the family with the domino incident, I haven't spoken to anybody on that side of the family since 2007. <laughs> this is it's, there was, it, it, it's, a, it's like a date that lives in my personal history. Um, and then I only had one aunt on the other side of my family, and unfortunately she passed away. So I'm living that auntless world right now. And I only know one of Kate's aunts. I've got nothing against her. In fact, I mean, let's take the wall chicken. You gotta be a little bit more positive about this, but they did one one time they came to Vancouver. They live in California. They came to Vancouver and they were like, we heard you guys enjoy beer because we did like those beer reviews. So here we got you something. And it was legit like, you know, at Whole Foods, you can buy like the tonics and stuff like that. Like like the six dollar a bottle, like, you know, Dr. Bill's uh, health tonic. But it's just infused with like a bunch of or like it's, it's kind of like a lemonade sort of stuff and also non-alcoholic. So we got four like weird, like artisan gluten-free root beers. And then they were like, how was it? And I was like, it was really good, thanks. What's the domino event? That was, I, I told this story earlier. Uh, Two of my cousins got into a, a an altercation so bad that um, one of them had to go to the hospital on Thanksgiving. We can make it. We can make it. Because his brother stepped on his throat because he took the he took the six six domino that he didn't that he wanted. I should say. It's, look, it's not as interesting to you as it is to me. <laughs> How old were they? I don't know, like 8 and 13 or something like that? Go for it. We're not dying here. I'm not freaking leaving. My cousin need my sister in the face over an Easter egg. 
It's kids, man. Kids are, uh... I did not mean to click. Save me. Um... They're, they're ruled more by their emotions than adults are. I know people are gonna be like, not true. I'm promising you, as an adult who is also, like, the father to a young child, it's true. There are adults who are ruled by their emotions, don't get me wrong, but not to the same extent as little kids. You need, you, you have to spend some time around children to be able to, to say that, I promise you. Like my daughter goes from like the saddest she's ever been to like euphoric for the smallest reasons you could ever imagine. I know that you're like, well, me too. Like I could be having a bad day, but then I see like a cute dog or something like that. And I'm like, oh, actually like life is good. No, but like literally she'll be like, you know, I shit my pants, I'm crying. And I'm like, that seems fair to me. That would be a bad day for me too. But then, when I try to change her diaper, she's like, I want to stay in my shitty diaper. And I'm like, well, now you're just being a little silly. Don't put me on the point five, man. The magnet, they ruined the damn magnet. We need to do some damage, but this thing doesn't do any damn damage. We need to explode some bombs for it to do anything. Well, there were infinite bombs around here. I thought we had a pretty good chance of it hitting one of them, but apparently I don't know what the hell I'm talking about. We created about a thousand bombs, and then we just vacated that side of the map completely. Oh, you're dead. Thank God. It was a little close. I'll heal. Bouncers contribute to damage, absolutely. Take me straight down. Take me straight up. Wonder if I could get some heals in here. Alright. I'm a little scared. How much damage do we have to do? Like a billion, right? I can live with this. I love it. I love it. All we need is a refresh orb. We have the potential here for insane damage. Yes! They've refreshed me. You sent me down into the times one. I'm a little upset by that, but that's okay. It's not as much damage as I thought it would be. You've healed, you've hit me for one. You've added extra damage on front, uh, on the front of that, okay. We still want more icicle orbs for sure. I'm, I'm happy to be nestled here, I'm happy. I'm not even gonna worry about it, man. We, do, we got nothing to we We can't control where the thing's gonna land. Obviously, that wouldn't have been like my ideal uh, place for it. Dump this, run a bold orb, of course. Hit some bombs, yeah, yeah, more of them, more of them, more. I'm not ready for this to be over. Okay, times one. Little insulting. I think we're gonna die. Most important thing here, refresh me if possible. How did you dodge it all? I couldn't have made that move if I was trying to. Oh my god, and then in the point fives. <clears throat> How much damage are you doing? Three? Three? That's problematic. I wish to land it right in here. Okay, you got the... Yes, it hit the refresh orb. What? My ball got stuck and they just, they canceled me? It's broken? I mean, that was a little scam, I think. I feel slightly scammed, for sure. But now we're 
we're talking. Hold on, keep it going. Don't, don't drop me, I'm not ready to go yet. Like the trues. Oh no, they dropped me in the zero! Okay, you, honestly, I'm never taking the chip ever again. I know what you're gonna say. It's a, oh, actually, on average, it's 110%. Yeah, I mean, that's great that it's a, like a 1.1 times modifier on average. Um, unfortunately, I think like all of the potential gain from that 10% is nullified if you ever get half damage or lower one time on the final boss. Okay, my ball got stuck because of durable, so I guess uh, there you go. Uh, I guess I'll just be killed as a result of my ball getting stuck, even though it was still moving. This is like the ultimate scam. And uninstalled. Wow, so zany. All right, that's uh, Peglin slash marker. Peglin. We're still paying out the doubters. It is what it is.